You ready to fight? Ready. Good. While most of his foes have needed crutches after the fight, here is Jose Aldo Jr. getting set for yet another UFC appearance. Gonna be interesting to see what the strategy is tonight. If he goes to the leg kicks early, he can grapple with the best of them. Jose Aldo Jr. back on the big stage here. All right, so he's got the body. And that was a kick to choke. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. Rear naked choke. It's all about the hand fight now. He's got to win the hand fight if he wants to get the submission. Oh. oh, that was deep, but he got out. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Albert. Nicely done. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big grounded pound. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. That's heavy kick downstairs. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent has done that too, oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And, oh, they're at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. This is crazy round of fights. Two minutes to go in the round. Combination. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fight. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Got to be careful here. Oh, it's getting tight. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Nice positional control here. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Under two minutes now to go round one. An elbow. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arms stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Side control now. All right, good movement by him here. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. He flattens him out. This could be the beginning of the end. Holloway getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. This is a terrible position. 30 seconds left. 30. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Final seconds of round one. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Stop. Great work. You won that last round. This round. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's get to round two. He'll get credit for that takedown. Transition. Well, 
he's got his back now. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, an even better job to escape. Creativity getting to that submission, but also creative defense in all this. Open it up on him now. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, a big left hand. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Attempting a choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Oh, good defense, yes. He's got to start throwing now. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back. Oh, now he's attacking on trying. All out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight.